Hi guys and welcome to this mini coaster track review video uh, here on the coaster track YouTube channel by Scare Track. The reason we're doing this little mini video is because literally just a few days ago a brand new VR experience opened here at Fantasialand. The old Temple of the Nighthawk roller coaster is no more and now it's time for Crazy Bats, uh, a brand new four minute VR experience on the old coaster. So I heard lots of rumours that the coaster was terrible. Used to have a space theme years ago, they gutted all that and it was just in the dark um, for four and a half minutes. People got very bored so they've added VR. So we thought we'd do a quick mini review on the uh, coaster track here. Uh, so you know what it's like, there will be a full uh, vlog of the few days we've had here as well. So check that out in the link below when it comes out. Oh, sharp. If you go on this ride, don't touch these edges. Similar, okay, that's what we've heard it off. So guys, we have just come off the Crazy Bat VR coaster uh, that was on the original Temple of the Nighthawk. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Um, it was long, because uh, it's a long coaster anyway. And um, the, VR, the VR worked quite well with yeah. the actual coaster, didn't it? It, yeah. worked, it worked well. Like There were twists and turns that I think if you were on the coaster, they wouldn't have given you a wow. You could tell but, it was a, quite a tame, old-style yeah. coaster. Definitely. But the VR gave the twist and turns a wow. Yeah. Um, for me, I've had better VR experiences. Um, uh, yeah, I'd say it's not as bad as some space missions I've been on. But it's not as good as um, some experiences with Alpine and mice, <laughs> if that makes sense. No, we can compare it. I don't think it's as good as the Alpine Express uh, VR that's at Europa Park. However, that is two euros upcharge and yeah. it doesn't last as long. Although the headsets at Europa Park to me feel a lot lighter. Yeah, they felt really heavy. That I'd, was I'd quite heard heavy. they were quite light here, but that felt they really heavy. They feel heavy. But not as heavy as... As Galactica's um, old VR yeah. that was terrible for lasted three years and it's gone thank god um so yeah it was it was good it was enjoyable it's not one that i'd rush back to but you can tell it's an old coaster they're just trying to do something with it and fair play they're jumping on the vr bandwagon yeah. i don't know if that's so, it was it, good it was enjoyable it was decent. yeah it just wasn't as good as some vr experiences we've had yeah totally but better than others yeah. so just a solid little attraction yeah. for families i guess um and it, like we say it, it made use of a attraction that you can tell is it's seen its day really um, so yeah, there we go, just a little mini review here. Um, we are at Fantasialand here in Germany for three days, uh, so there will be a full uh, coaster cam from Coaster Track here on the uh, YouTube channel. There'll also be a feature length um, trip report on the podcast when we get back to the UK as well. So this will be going out today, and today is the 1st of July. Um, of 2019 uh, if you're watching in the future and uh, the next few uh, episodes the uh, whole vlog and the episode on the podcast click that link below to go to the podcast feed uh, will be on the next few days if you're watching this in the future hello from the past <laughs> right let's go um yeah a bit odd but anyway to um, the bar to the bar <laughs>